now to this, the border battle playing out in the courts. House Speaker Mike Johnson calling the situation there, quote, an unmitigated disaster. ABC's M. Wynn has more from Washington. A growing number of border challenges unfolding in court. The Department of Justice now suing the state of Texas over its immigration law that would give state officials broad powers to arrest, prosecute and deport migrants suspected of illegally crossing into the state. The DOJ calling the law set to take effect in March unconstitutional. Republican Governor Greg Abbott firing back online saying I like my chances. Texas is the only government in America trying to stop illegal immigration. It marks the second legal action against the state this week after the Biden administration asked the U.S. Supreme Court to allow Border Patrol agents to cut through razor wire fencing Texas placed strategically on private land along the southern border to deter illegal border crossing. Governor Abbott's uh, razor wire does not prevent. It does not prevent non-citizens from unlawfully crossing. That's not what it does. If anything, it puts at risk, it puts the lives of the Border Patrol at risk. Amid record-breaking numbers of migrant encounters last month, numbers have dropped in recent days, prompting several key ports of entry from California to Texas to reopen today. One of those, Eagle Pass, Texas, where House Speaker Mike Johnson led a delegation of more than 60 House Republicans on Wednesday. The situation here and across the country is truly unconscionable. Johnson demanding the president back the GOP's border security legislation, which would resume construction of the border wall and limit the Department of Homeland Security's ability to grant migrants parole. The White House calling Johnson's recent trip a political stunt, blaming Republicans for rejecting President Biden's supplemental funding package, which includes money to bolster personnel at the border. The White House says negotiations for a new bipartisan border security package are headed in the right direction. But Senate leaders admit there are still many differences that need to be worked out before they can reach a deal. In Washington, Emwin, ABC News.